Good evening. It is seven o'clock. We're going to call this meeting to order. This is the Tuesday, April 18th, 2023, regular meeting of the Flemington Borough Planning Board. The meeting is called pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. Both adequate and electronic notice of this meeting has been provided by way of publication in the Hunter County Democrat and Courier News newspapers on or about January 18th or 19th, 2023. In addition, notice of the meeting was posted on the door of the Borough of Flemington Municipal Building located here at 38 Park Avenue and any handicap accessible entrance is there too. Posted on the municipal website, provides the municipal clerk and distributed to all persons if any requesting copies of same. This meeting is being recorded with both audio and video and may be rebroadcast. This meeting is a judicial proceeding. Any questions or comments must be limited to the issues that are relevant to what the board may legally consider in reaching a decision and decorum appropriate to a judicial hearing must be maintained at all times. I ask everyone to please rise as you are able to flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mayor Carroll, here. This is Englehart. I know he's not here yet. Um, Mr. Campion? Here. Mr. Doshno? Here. Mr. Levitt? Here. Mr. Cook? Here. Ms. Giffen? Here. Ms. Weitzman? <laughs> Here. Mr. Hill, I don't see yet. Um, he's running late. Mr. Savino? Here. Mr. Echo? Here. Mr. Weintraub? Here. Mr. Show? Here. Ms. Kaczynski? Here. Mr. Harris? Here. Is here for Ms. McManus. Um, and Mr. Clerico and Mr. Troutman are excused. Thank you. Uh, we will begin as we always do with the time for public comments. There's literally nobody in the room other than the members of the board of professionals. And there is nobody online. I see one as an attendee, but I don't okay, see any name. Neither do I. So okay. raise your hand. That's Jim. Oh. All right. So let's promote Jim up to the panelists. All right. <laughs> President, seven of three. All right. Uh, so seeing no members of the public will move on. Mayor's comments. I will pass tonight. Yes, all right. Uh, Councilperson Nengelhardt's not here, so if, unless anyone objects, we'll hold item three until she gets here. If she doesn't get here, then we just don't have an item three. Uh, HPC, Dennis, do we have anything to report? Uh, we have our meeting tomorrow, so nothing other than a reminder about the historic house tours of Flemington, June 3rd, Saturday, 11 to 5. If anyone's interested in helping out, let us know. We're excited. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, item five on the agenda, approval of the minutes from our prior meeting, March 28th, 2023. Those were circulated. Um, any, we got a motion and a second on the minutes. So moved. Second. Any discussion, clarification, or corrections to the minutes? Mr. Levitt? Yes. Mayor Carroll? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Mr. Dawson? Yes. Mr. Cook? Interesting. Ms. Kippen? Yes. Ms. Whiteson? Yes. Mr. Hill? I don't think he's needed on yet. No. All right. Mr. Semino? Yes. Mr. Echo? Oh. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> you get to go this you way. What are oh, you? Right. All right, um, item six tonight um, is going to be a subcommittee report from our group working on updates to our bylaws and rules on citizen input. Um, Tara, you can update where we are. Sure. So what's been circulated is a culmination of the changes to the bylaws as a result of our discussion at the last meeting. Um, you'll see we need to do some reformatting. Um, there's some areas that I should have taken some things out, which were really comment first. Um, and uh, it's a little bit more difficult to read, but I believe it incorporates everything that we discussed and agreed upon at the last meeting. I don't know if anyone has any additional comments or thoughts or changes or questions as a result of the review. Um, but I think that uh, as I've discussed with the chair, the best thing to do is have you guys take a look at it. And then I can circulate prior to the next meeting 
um, a clean copy so you can you know take a look at them both uh, together and then we can introduce it for uh, adoption. I have a correction, please. Uh, Mr. Simeon was alternate number one. Got it. Um, Thank you. And then everybody else falls it is correct. You want to go to the last page? No, yeah, the last page. Um, you know what? I think that the alternates are underneath the name. I think I will. We'll see that. That's what I mean by the reformatting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I think yeah. that that's the case. So once we reformat that, that will probably Correct. work that itself out. Okay, got it. But thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was fiddling with your word doc. Yeah, if you like space it, correct. Yeah, so you have to, you're you're good. You're good. Yeah. So I remember that. No, I remember and that. I like the little section of just yeah. write it down, write down a left it's, hand side of the page. That's very helpful. Yeah, it, it's good. It's good. All right. That's my favorite. So, <laughs> so um is or is there anything else that folks have noticed? Paris said this around a couple of days ago. Um it has not caught. Uh, it hasn't captured what we had talked about because so I didn't see anything, but I want to get everyone a chance. The, old, the question I had is on uh, there's on page numbers, but article 11. I do my own. No, the master plan. Um, so it looks like that this update from six years to 10 years, but I got confused between re examination of the master plan and master plan. I'm sorry. So, so in other words, it's a section that, that, that reads adoption of the master plan. And it says, so prepare and adopt a master plan pursuant to the municipal land use law, right? We don't come up with how often we have to do that. That's part okay. of that and, and state. Board shall perform a re-exam of the master plan at least every 10 years from the previous re-exam. But we weren't really talking about a re-exam. We were talking about the master plan. So I I thought that said that the re-exam board law changed from six to 10. But so in other words, is it that we have to perform a re-exam of the master plan in 10 years? When, when do you have to do your next master plan? Because if you remember, we did a re-exam, we master plan 2010, Correct. re exam 2014 or 2015, but then we had to do our new master plan last year or this year, I believe, because we were within the time. I thought there was something different between uh, the re-exam and our new master plan. Um, I'll have to double check with Beth, but I'm pretty sure the, the state law is just for the re exam because in some some towns, like the master plans date back to like the 80s, and we just refer to the re exam. Um, so okay, so you're thinking that there is no law for a master plan perspective, but you have to at least re examine it every 10 years. That's what I'm thinking, but I'll confirm. Okay. okay. And I, think that's, I do think that's correct. You can at any time adopt a new master plan there's no okay. requirement for that but your re-exam has to occur within that time period okay. after the change and you can then as a result of that re-exam decide whether or not you want to amend re-adopt whatever the case may be however when they say you have to do the master plan every 10 years they really only need those two required sections i'm looking at so, you because only the one required section. right so it's so so it's really just that one required section. So that is element. Right. So that's, 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 that's the only required. thing that's required every two years. Ten, every ten years. Sorry, well, I misspoke. Every 10 years is that's the only one that's required. Everything else is essentially a fluid document that should be updated as our responsibility. Uh, well, well so and, as Beth would also say, regularly. housing stands on its own. Mm -hmm. Your housing element. That's why I said two. That's exactly why I said yeah. two, um, but legally one, you are correct. So I think it's just, it's our responsibility to keep up everything on a regular basis, just kind of look at it. But those are the only two the that are required the other, the other every also, 10 years. The other, the other thing that the first line of that section Todd grabs is not just the timing, but the manner in which it, it happens, the contents, the notification of adjacent, adjacent jurisdictions, all that other stuff. That you're required to do under state law, the line of adopt pursuant to the MLUL grants all of it and with it in one set. So it's not just the timing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does everyone feel comfortable with that? It embodies everything that you'd like it to, that it, it makes sense. You think there's any clarity we need to place in there? No, because like Jeff said, the first line pursuant to the MLUL. Mm -hmm. 
if you know the MLU, you would say, okay, it changed. You don't have to do a master plan. It's blah, blah, blah. But I guess that's what I'm saying. Would you like that spelled out a little bit more? You're on okay because it's all encompassing. It should be spelled out the re exam. That, that was my okay. question. Okay. That, that, that. Yeah, I, I agree. Maybe that's it, it, it clarified that that's optional, but in, encouraged. It's not optional. No, well, it is and it isn't. No, that's well, not. Not, it's not the two, elements. not the two required, the, re the rest of it. The re exam, the re exam is required statutorily, period is required. And you're supposed to check if all of your current planning documents are at that time. At that point, okay, okay. still in force. Right, that's whether you, you, whether you change thing, it or not is up to you. Got it. Yeah. You know, the, the reason why they put climate adaptability in the landing settlement was because that's the one that everyone's to adopt. Right, 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 right. Got it. I mean, we can certainly outline the required sections. I, I don't think it's I don't think it needs the complexity because it says it says mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it can be whatever you decide exactly. to be. It can be the it can be the, the minimum legal requirements on the whole document. I'm just saying so if anybody yeah, if anybody has questions going forward, new members, so they can understand exactly, you know, at, at a minimum mm -hmm. every 10 years, these two items have to be re-examined. I would rather just leave it okay. as this only because if the state law change, I don't want to have our Bylaws to not be consistent. consistent. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then we have, and then we have a requirement to do something not required to do it. So, so let me just ask because I, I'm sorry I brought it up. If I confuse anybody, so the word reexamination. So based on this, the board shall perform a reexamination of the master plan at least every ten years from the previous reexamination. That means we're doing one year, 2024, because that's 10 years from our previous re-examination report. Or is it? Or it's from the last time you made, when well, you re-adopted. Yeah, that, that's something we'll look at. You know I, mean, I, like, I do, because if you did, yes, if you required every 10 years to do a re-exam, but you decided two years prior to the expiration of the next 10 to redo your master plan, or at least certain yeah. elements that you It's just about your re-examination. Is it the last time you touched it? You know what I mean? I don't know how you want to legally put that. Okay. okay. Yeah, we could, that we could, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, good, sorry, I wasn't there. No, 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 no. That's a good point. Okay. Other things. Okay, so. Um, it may be as easy to say, I'm sorry. Yeah, please put it. Um, previous re examination or re adoption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Maybe, might be enough. Yeah, yeah. simple enough just to do that. But. Yeah. Just checking online, and, uh, Hannah, Dennis, Jim, Mike. No, we're good. We're good. All right. Um, so, this is the plan. If, if, so, it looks like we've got everything captured. Tara's going to clean this up, give us a clean copy in addition uh, to this red line, and hopefully we'll get that circulated and we'll be able to vote on it at our next meeting because um, it should be a straightforward vote. If anyone catches anything, has any concerns, has any questions, just send Tara a note between now and the next meeting. And if we don't vote on it next meeting, we'll catch it one after. So at the next meeting, you would put it before the space factories? Oh, yeah, because we have, we have to recuse. I want to get that out to the full board. Yeah. And worth, did I miss the rules on sale? <laughs> or is that for the uh, We have not made any changes to that yet. Okay. So what we'll do now is I'll circulate that to everybody. We can sit and have a meeting with regard to that or, or the Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. call, yeah. whatever it is. Because I think they were circulated originally, but I didn't see any comments to those. No. Now that we've got this out of the way, let's take a look at those and, and see if there's anything. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, this is, this is Karen and uh, Brian. Yeah, because they haven't met yet. Not about the system info. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. So that's next. That's right. Yeah, that was a pound of food. Okay. I lost it right there. All right. Excellent. Thank you all for the work. All right. So we'll move on then. Subcommittee report for ordinance review. Brett. Um, so if any subcommittee members for the ordinance review want to chime in, uh, feel free. I was just going to give a quick, like, uh, what we've done, planning on doing next steps. Um, so we started with the area south of Route 12, um, sort of expanding the TC district down there. Um, and then we took a look at the permitted uses in the TC district to find some of those uses. 
Um, you prepared a few maps just to see like a land use map or zoning map, um, just to just to visually uh, show those changes. Um, and then next steps are uh, taking a look at the historic district. There's a few things that uh, need to be changed. And then uh, we're moving on to the PO district. Well, she, she that is cleaning up the, she did a draft ordinance and she's yeah. cleaning that up now. Cause I think we're, I think we all kind of, the last meeting was really, really good. And um, there was sort of, I'm gonna say between us, there was kind of a, a level of excitement on on the changes and um the vision um so uh i think she's going to clean up the ordinance and then it comes to the planning board to take a look at and then we'll get sent to the council yeah and then it'll come back to us right but i think that she's going to be hopefully bringing we have a meeting on the 27th and i right. think get to look at the look again at the ordinance for the last time hopefully yeah, to finalize the TNC uh, right. changes and then, uh, yeah, the energy sort of start talking about the PO you know, district changes. But, uh, yeah, next, I would assume next uh, subcommittee meeting, we like fully finalize the TC. And, and I also think that, um, I, I think Susan is would fall into your um, area to inform the council because we have never done this. So I think I don't want the council. To think, I don't think any of us would want the council to think, why are we getting all these ordinance changes? Because they're going to start coming every couple of weeks, really, right? And maybe a month. I don't know. Yeah. yeah long Hopefully, we stay right? on track. So, yeah. Okay. Good. As long as we know. Oh, good. 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 So it sounds like if the just looking at my calendar. So if it sounds like the subcommittee is meeting on the twenty seventh yeah. of April. So then we have a meeting on the ninth. Is is the anticipation that on May on May 9th that we might see a draft of the TC? Is that I think so? The plan? I'm both I'm yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll double check, but yeah, I would I'll... okay. So let's I think if we can just kind of put up some, us put a little bit of room aside on the agenda for the ninth of sure. May, just that we know that um so and I would just ask committee members if we could make sure that it gets to Eileen. For circulation to us by like the end of that prior week, just so we've got the weekend to look at it and folks be ready to talk about it. Um, that would be helpful. Be like May 5th, 5th, 5th. Yeah, like fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere in there. Um, just so folks have a chance to look at it. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it on the ninth, and then if there's any changes, the committee can go back with it. And if not, then we can move it, you know, get it to council. And then council certainly, you know, because of where council schedule is, they might be looking at it at the 22nd or. So, or be on or something like that. Well, hopefully, so, they'll introduce it on the 22nd. Yeah, that'd be great. so theoretically, we could if we're all good with it. If it's if we look at it at the ninth and we're good, we're happy with it. Council can introduce on first reading on the 22nd. We could do our hearing for consistency on May 23rd, and then council could move towards public hearing on um, June 12th for that one. That's kind of the timeline. And if we can keep queuing them up like this. And we keep moving on them. I think we would all be happy to see progress in a lot of this. So, excellent. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, other committee members, anything else to add? Uh, no, I actually had some technical difficulties, so I didn't make it. But Todd kind of and and Beth kind of I gave me a little summary of of the meeting. So I'm all good. Thank good. you. All right. Anything else from the subcommittee? Dread, we're good. I think so. All right. Love this. We're doing stuff. It's not mm -hmm. all right. Um, so really I'm gonna go back to Susan. I'm gonna go back to Susan. Thank you. Susan, I missed you. Back Any council report? No comments. So I could have texted you that. That's fine, like, well, it's all right. I was behind the tractor on 179 going by this meeting. Right. <laughs> I could have texted you that. That's you know what? We've all been behind the tractor on yeah. 179. <laughs> it's just been a very Sorry. particular experience. <laughs> All right. Um, item A, chair item. So our next meeting is next week. Yes. We have uh, an, we have a public hearing. Kara, we're we're having the public hearing. Right? I have not heard anything to the contrary. That right. date was uh, circulated to council. He said it was fine. The professionals are fine. I know that notice was provided. I have not seen them the submit them. I think we're waiting for the affidavit of publication. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I know uh, there have been a couple of residents that have received it, and I've received it here at the meeting. So we have no reason to not assume that we're going to have. Okay. Yes. Uh, because it involves uh, the variances, uh, the mayor and 
council member will not be participating. So we're gonna, if we could make sure that anything that requires their participation happens we'll before that on the we'll agenda. The so and all that stuff, so we can take care of that and send them and leave the hearing. Yeah, them. we'll do the bylaws and then everything else and leave the public hearing. You know, yeah, well, just, 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 to, just to make sure that everyone else can participate. Um, Anything else? I mean, that'll be a full agenda. We'll show you more than one meeting on that. Just the bylaws. Yeah. Um, I mean, we haven't received anything from any other council on Spice Factory. No, correct. Okay, correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, after just just to to look ahead a, a, a smidge. So uh, after next meeting on the twenty fifth, our main meetings are the ninth and the twenty third. Um, just to let everybody know, I will not be here on May twenty third. I will be out of the country and in a time zone that does not allow me to phone in like Karen. Oh, I'm like, come on. I mean, I, I, time I, zones, baby. Come on, the car's been stuck. You're going to let me put some in this. I can tell you that 7 p.m. New Jersey is um, 2 a.m. Tel Aviv to start. So that's not going to happen. So, uh, <laughs> phone at 2 a.m. She was. You she did was. it. She was. But I, I know. Yeah. There's a huge difference between you and I too. Wasn't easy. I'm not saying it was easy. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just, I just bring to let everybody know. And as we're getting closer towards summer, and folks may start traveling, just make sure that Eileen knows if you can't be here, so that we can make sure we've got mm -hmm. coverage and full boards and all the rest of it. Everyone's been pretty good about coming. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, any other chair items? Any other applications in the hopper that were? Um, no, I mean, we still have uh, Wartsville is kind of still out there. Um, we have Central Station, uh, the old furniture um, place that I know that they're still talking to Bob with. Uh, Chick-fil-A is going to come back for um, some kind of amended. They seem to be, there a lot of offers for them. I've had, um, and Bob and, and Beth have met with uh, the people from Chick-fil-A. Um, and I, and I could, you know, I, I could just say that this morning, um, Beth and I, along with uh, Mark Seller from the county and Robin Lefferts from the FCP, uh, met with Wordsville and their attorneys about the new zone possibilities and possibilities of what they could do in there. And uh, they didn't walk out angry at all. They were very interested in knowing. Um, that this change was coming and what the town was looking at. And they are local, so I don't live in Plum Rare, but they live in Hunter County. And uh, they were very, um, very interested to know what kind of support Mark and Robin could do to find, um, you know, uh, uh, what's the, what was the word, a, a, a commercial kitchen incubator for people who want to make product and, um, or, a sports complex or an entertainment complex. They were they were quite interested in talking about it. So it was encouraging. And then we also have Liberty Village. Where's that? That, that? that is that is in an executive session under contract negotiation because the developer asked for a re amendment to his redevelopment plan. So and do we have a rough timeline as to when that might end up? By us so the council the council redevelopment group is meeting with um, the redeveloper on Wednesday the subcommittee, and the subcommittee yeah. uh, meeting on Wednesday uh, I don't think that one meeting is going to be enough okay. frankly um, so I I can't I cannot opine on this at all but that that's fine I, I'm just because um, obviously if there's an amendment to the site plan that obviously will come back to us at some point so just we want to just let us know like roughly, but that might be so we want to yes. scale it. Yeah, we can bring them into the same plan as part of dealing with his mm -hmm. Do you mean tomorrow, Wednesday, or next week? Next tomorrow, week. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Spice Factor at least is probably going to be a couple of nights, but but we do just so we should, since there's not much else coming that we know yeah, of. It would be, yeah, it was, uh, you're, you're kind 25th of May. and then the May, May 9th. Yeah, so like you're. End of May, early June, certainly look like open meetings if, if that is just, just to put that in your put that in the back of your head, I guess, since you guys are talking to them. All right, any other chair items? All right, uh, bills were circulated. Got a motion to audit the bills. So move, Cook. Second. 
Second. Sorry. We have a second. We second. <laughs> Mr. Cook? Yes. Mr. Levitt? Yes. Mayor Carroll? Yes. Ms. Zengelhart? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Mr. Dasha? Yes. Ms. Giffen? Yes. Ms. Weitzman? Yes. And Mr. Hill? Yes. Great. Thank you. Uh, any attorney report? Uh, no, but I will say, as I was just going through some documents, I already have started making some notes as to potential amendments to the rules on citizen input. Has anything happened on uh, mayor or Susan, the governing body level with regard to Daniel's law or anything along those lines that we need to well, take we, into account? Only what, yes. only what the clerk administrator did. Okay. And, and on, I'm, I'm not quite sure of the law and whether or not he was able to meddle into what the planning board was did because they know they can pull some stuff off the website. But okay. um, I just want to make sure that whatever we recommend or incorporate is consistent. Um, yeah. There is there is nothing formal that the council has taken action on regarding Daniel's okay. law other than saying to people when they speak in the public portion to state your name and your municipality, you don't have to give us your address. So, other than that, no. Thank you. That's all we're are there any other guidelines um, being formulated by the DCA? Um, not that I, I know. Not that I know of. I've spoken with other clerks and yeah, I said nothing really. Here, I will. I will tell you. I just had to use what what I'm seeing. There's there's a lot of across the board changes being made. So, for instance, like in newspapers, a lot of Sundays in in you know, Star Ledger will report. Mm -hmm. Um, sales in certain counties and what which properties were sold and, and the amount that they were sold. There's a lot of people like looking at those just to kind of compare your property values um, across the board. They've taken every single name up there, which I presume is coming from the municipalities, which is where they're getting their information. And the county clerks and the exactly. exactly to report the deeds. So I'm seeing a lot of the blanket just taking care of everybody so that there isn't any question and taking everybody. You know, out of the mix because that's easy to do. When I was at the National Fire, it doesn't raise a red flag for every correct. other, like if it's not noticed. I was right. talking to somebody from Rutgers who does their kind of extension to New Jersey municipalities in the planning world, the National Congress, and they they don't have good guidance either. Like, well, he's working on data, statewide data, where they literally have every single parcel in the state of New Jersey in the database because they're doing some mapping of flood hazard and some other stuff. And um, he's got to go through, you know, whatever, what it's hundreds of thousands of parcels yeah. that they have to like that. So he said, then there's no, there's no, they're not getting anything from Trent either. This is like statewide databases either. So I, I, I don't think anyone's got it. And then he goes against Oprah. I mean, uh, so he's yeah. correct. So, uh, he, right. he, had, he actually asked me, he said, well, you're an academic. What do you think? And I said, you're working for the state, you tell me. <laughs> and I would think from a database perspective, I mean, you know, not technologically very good, of it, but it would be much easier to just take a field and delete it. So if you've got a database, you take a field and yeah. that's a redactor, yeah. however you deal with it. It's easiest for anyone. So I think that just, just to add on to that from a like a, a council and, and clerk's perspective, and I know um I just want to make sure that we are continuing to have the um the virtual um you know availability whether you know that we're posting those regularly as well as the the documents that you know that so we can review them before the meeting and those kind of things so we just need to be careful that there's nothing said during the meeting like you said you know make sure we're like like marcia said make sure we're not exposing any of those information that way and as well on um, the community yeah. lines, I think, yeah. and yeah, and the mist. so yeah. you just need to be real careful about that. Yeah. And also, just need to make sure that the names are connected with the addresses on the, the, on the, 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 the drawings or the drawings, yeah. the drawings, especially the cover sheet, usually has the Correct. 200 foot list. Yeah. But then, if the 200 foot list from the assessor only has name, yeah. doesn't have any names. I don't know. Right. So if because the list you're going in now will be getting any right. any older plans you're going to have. What are we doing now? Is the assessor redacting names? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, let's find out. Um okay. Um so we don't have a planning report, right? They're, they're good. Nothing. All right, and obviously Bob's not here and Jay's not here. One last thing uh, before we go. 
Uh, my company did send out an email to everybody about your financial disclosure yeah. forms. Uh, yes. New board members. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it is a five minute form. It's not a big deal. You have to um, just. But you list that, how do you not? Going back to Daniel's law. I will tell you what happens when you preview your form because you have to preview it before you hit submit. It actually, your name field says um, temporarily suppressed or something like that. It's a Daniel's law thing. <laughs> and there's also a chat box on there that says, Are you law enforcement? Well, that's always been on there. Yeah. Well, when I was like, Flemington's um, list, it's had all of the names. So, what's the agency is there? So that's uh, DCA. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So all you have to do is you fill it out, you list who you work for. They just need to, just everyone knows, you don't have to list how much you make. You just said you make more than X number of dollars, whatever your employers are. You just list your property, your primary, and any other properties you own, and that's it. And if you got to, like, it, it's just to, to kind of. And my company, the money. last one I have is from Eileen on uh, April 28th of 2022. No, I got one from my country's like no, I got one the day. Like, I think that was four the days, four or five days ago. So. All right, so let's. I you, you didn't get it. Okay, didn't get it. So the day twenty twenty-two. And I'll, I'll uh, you know what? I'm going to forward it to you, and I'll, I'll copy my last to make sure that you're on the roster. So so you didn't get to do that. Thank you. All right, yeah, yeah, I I it. It. All right so you didn't get it. Didn't get it. I didn't get it. So it's going to be funny stuff. So all right. So, uh, but he said one of the S and P was a theory of the S and P because they're they're it's under state law. They're not required to do. They're So it's a simple form. It's just a disclosure. It's not a big deal. Everyone has to do it if you're appointed or elected or so. Um, it's a springtime ritual like politics. So just look for your boxes for that. Um, and uh, no need to go to executive session. So they uh, get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Any all in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.